God has promised His children that He will always be with them. You are part of that promise because you've chosen to be identified with the Lord. And wherever Yahweh is, miracles abound in that place. So since you are one of His beloved, the promised miracles won't elude you. The Bible said, If only you will believe, you can say to the mountain, Move, and the mountain will be moved. One thing that is so lovely and interesting about our God is that He's never partial in His dealings. So if He did show Himself mightily and worked great miracles in the life of many believers during the time of the old, He never changes, and whatsoever He starts must be finished, so His name won't be disgraced. He honors His name so greatly that it's clear that when God works miracles in the life of a believer, that person becomes like an opening or a doorway through which glory is been credited to God. You will be a witness to the fact that God is miraculous if you take a look around you. The world and its creations are miracles. You yourself are God's creation, whom He so much loves to the extent He's come down to earth from His glorious abode in the form of a man, His creation, just so you might be saved, and He won't lose you to damnation. That, too, is a miracle. And so, miracles will follow you. This is because you are loved by He who is the miracle worker. You are special, and a channel through which glory and honor shall be ascribed to Him. You are a mirror on earth, showcasing His amnesty and might. During the time of Jesus Christ, because of the many signs and miracles He worked, many get to believe, and they were saved. So it is with you. Miracles and signs must follow you in as much as you believe in Him. So your life will be a display of God's super ability, and so that in that course, many shall acknowledge and believe in Him. The book of Mark 16, verse 17 to 18, serves as an assurance that indeed, miracles shall follow you as a child of God, if you are in your belief in the power of God. The verse said, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands in the sick, and they shall recover. Now, if we are to analyze this scripture, we'll come to the understanding that God is indeed a miracle-working God. He has performed so many miracles using the prophets. He came in the form of Jesus and hath performed great signs, yet He never leaves us hopeless. He said these signs shall follow them who believe. This is to say, a miracle will indeed follow you if only you will believe. Some out of the many miracles performed in the Bible follow Jesus our great high priest and example. You are a believer, and what makes you a believer is because you believe in the powerful name of the Lord. In that case, you are entitled to the more or less He promised. The Bible said, They shall lay their hands on the sick, and they will be well. I am a living witness to this, not just sickness, but so even the anxieties of life itself. He has promised to work a miracle in your life that will enable you to overcome it. The widow who had nothing and wanted to just eat her last supper with her two children and wait for death was visited by the Lord. God did a great miracle through His servant Elijah by providing for her an endless jar of oil. That woman is sure will never go away from serving the Lord, not after what she witnessed. This is to say, miracles make our faith stronger. The Lord wishes for us to remain faithful to Him and end up with Him in paradise. So, He will perform miracles in your life 
for you to have a reason to always hold on to him without wavering or shaking. At times, the enemy makes us blind to see the many miracles around us and sometimes up to doubting God. The Bible, however, said that it's not if him that runs, neither is it if him that wills, but it is if him that shows mercy. It might look like no miracle is occurring in your life, or maybe the miracles might tarry, and you feel like you're not a partaker in God's great works. The enemy can be so corny to even use guilt and shame of maybe something you've done wrong to hold you captive. But the above verse shows us the situation depends on God to show mercy. If he decides to have mercy on you and work great miracles through you, there is nothing anyone can do about it. Have faith in him and ask for mercy at all times, and no doubt miracles shall follow you. You are a descendant of the promised child, and one major factor that is always evident or present as a part of the inheritance of the promised children is that God himself will handle matters affecting you directly by God himself. And since the Bible recorded that you are a descendant of Abraham, miracles will follow you. And whenever it is that God handled something by himself, because his wants are never the same as ours, we will be awed and shall be amazed by the great way he takes care of our trouble. God does give us miracles, just as a means of authenticating himself to people. But to reveal himself to people who have eyes of faith to see. He works extraordinary wonders to capture people's attention. God never uses miracles just for amusement. They always serve a purpose. Their overall objective is to glorify God. In conclusion, whether you take note of anything or not, God is a miracle-working God. You are His beloved child, so to display his greatness. Look carefully and study whatsoever that is around you, and then you will know and confirm that God is indeed miraculous, and these miracles shall follow you because you are his child descendant. God bless you.